Ukraine's F-16s can strike inside Russia, NATO state confirms. Ukraine will be able to use F-16 fighter jets donated by the Netherlands to strike targets inside Russia, Dutch Defense Minister Katsa Ollongren has said. According to her, Kiev will be allowed to use the 24 F-16 fighter jets that it is slated to receive from the Netherlands however it sees fit, Ollongren has told Politico. Western nations have offered Ukrainian pilots training courses on how to operate the US-designed fighter jets. The long-promised transfer of the aircraft to Kiev's control may start within months, according to statements by coalition members. The group also includes Denmark and Norway. We only ask them to comply to international law and the right to self-defense as stated in the UN Charter which means they use it to target the military goals they need to target in their self-defense. There is not a Belgian-style restriction on hitting targets within Russian borders, Ollongren told Politico on the sidelines of the Shangri-La Dialogue, Asia's premier defense summit in Singapore. We are applying the same principle that we have applied to every other delivery of capabilities, which is once we hand it over to Ukraine, it's theirs to use she said. Danish Foreign Minister Lars Lok Rasmussen said last week that Kiev could potentially use the 19 F-16s pledged by his government to weaken Moscow's forces by taking out military facilities on Russian territory. Ukrainian officials expect US military technology to turn the tide on the battlefield in Kiev's favor. Russia currently has overwhelming air superiority on the front line. We have weapons, but we cannot use them against Russia until they cross the border. Yehor Cheniev, a member of the Ukrainian parliament and the deputy head of its National Security, Defense and Intelligence Committee, told Newsweek, This is ridiculous. More hawkish nations like Poland and the Baltic states have said Kiev should be allowed to hit any targets it chooses. The US has only given permission for attacks on cross-border targets close to Kharkiv, where Moscow's most recent offensive is underway. Even then, the White House has said it will now allow certain weapons, such as the long-range ATA CMS, to be used. Ukrainian armed forces have disrupted Russian attacks and gained territorial gains in a counterattack in the frontline town of Vovchansk in northeastern Kharkiv region, German Build News outlet reported. According to an analytical piece published by the newspaper, in recent days, Ukrainian troops have partially driven out Russian troops from the center of Vovchansk city, after its northern part was occupied by Russian troops in mid-May. Only about a quarter of the city's territory is under unambiguous Russian control. A week ago it was almost half. It seems that the Ukrainians have managed to advance there and oust the Russians. Russians are losing ground and are increasingly resorting to destroying the city with the help of MLRS, heavy artillery, and glide bombs, the newspaper reads. According to Bild, although the invaders' advance slowed down in other directions, Russian troops have managed to take about half of the village of Storitsa, west of Vovchansk in Kharkiv. Russia opened up a new front in the war after launching a surprise offensive in Kharkiv region. Since then Russia has ramped up its attacks in the area and made territorial gains in the area. Russia launched a deadly attack on Kharkiv in late May, killing seven people and injuring several others. Russian attacks also targeted Kharkiv city's transport infrastructure and a municipal unit vital for the city's life support systems. Ukraine launched a precision strike deep inside Russian territory, just hours after President Joe Biden lifted restrictions on the use of American munitions. The Ukrainian army utilized HIMARS to target Belgorod, a key base for Russian attacks in northern Ukraine. Recall, for more than two years, the Biden administration had imposed limits on the use of American-supplied weaponry, allowing Ukraine to deploy them only against Russian targets on Ukrainian soil. However, recent devastating Russian strikes on Kharkiv prompted a reassessment. The indiscriminate bombings, including an attack on a home improvement store that claimed 18 lives, led to a decision to erase the restriction. 
Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky hailed the move, stating it would enhance Ukraine's ability to defend against Russian aggression. As the rockets rained down on Belgorod, Russian media captured scenes of air raid sirens and fiery launches of air defense batteries as the Ukrainian rockets thundered toward the city of 384,000. Belgorod and its surroundings serve as a base for Russian forces launching attacks on Ukrainian border towns, particularly towards Kharkiv. The strike on Belgorod marks a significant move in Ukraine's ability to target Russian military assets deep inside Russia, Forbes assesses. Previously, Ukraine had only used locally made or European munitions for such strikes. However, the availability of American-made precision weapons like HIMARS and ATACMS now offers Ukraine a more potent capability.